By the end of this video, you will be able to tell the differences between an R6 and an R15 avatar in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So I have Roblox Studio open here, and you will be learning the differences between the R6 and the R15 avatars, but first, thanks a lot, man. You deserve much more likes and subscribers than this. Amazing. Thank you, Mike Makes Games. I appreciate having you here as part of the community of Blocks Dojanites, or maybe Blocks Dojoians. I'm still working on that. So let's dive into the differences between R6 and R15. If you're working in your games, you can find your rig builder and the plugins. Let's say you build a rig and you see, okay, that you have an R15 and an R6, and you're wondering which one to choose and what's the difference. Well, the best answer that I found is actually here on the Roblox developer webpage, and I'll put the link to this page in the description below. As I scroll down the page, you can see they have a picture of the two differences, but the construction is what I'm mostly interested in. So the R6 avatars are constructed with only six parts, so they have a limited range of animation and then motion. So they walk differently and they're animated differently. And the R15 has increased movement capabilities because now you have 15 parts to work with the body. So you can see the different parts of the R6. You have a head, torso, left arm, right arm, left leg, and right leg. The R15 has more options. And so let's go into the rig builder and show that in more detail. So I'm in the rig builder. Let's say I go with an R6. I'm just going to do a block rig. And now if I go to the right hand side of the Explorer, you can see what they mean with the construction. So I'm going to drop down the arrow and you can see I have a head, a left arm, a right, a left leg, right arm, right leg, and torso. And those are the six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the R6. Now I'm going to also put an R15 in here. And again, so you can see the difference between the two. The R15, if I click on that and drop that down, you'll see there are increased options for the parts on the avatar. And so let me show that in more detail. So let's say you are going to animate these. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the R6. If I go to the home and let's say I want to move just the left arm. So I have the left arm selected. And now I'm going to go ahead and rotate that left arm. Let's do the red one here. And so now you can see it rotates as one big block. Whereas let's say I go with this dummy here, the R15, and I go down to the left arm. You see there's different parts of the arm. So I usually start with the upper arm when I'm animating or, or doing anything like rotations. So I'm going to go to the left upper arm and I'm going to rotate that now. And you can see how it rotates, but the rest of the arm below it does not rotate. I actually have to rotate every single part of that. So that's one thing to think about. If you're trying to make quick animations, it's actually a lot quicker to animate an R6 model than it is to animate an R15 because you have so many more parts to work with with the R15. But the R15 shows a greater range of motion and you can do uh, more complex animations with the R15. Okay, so let's return to this page here that we were working on. So different values that you can input for the body types, heights, head, and proportions. One thing I wanted to point out is that the different examples of the R6 and R15. So you might think that the R6s are only like blocky uh, because they only have six parts. So if I look in the creator marketplace here, uh, I looked at just Avatar R6, and you can see most of them are blocky. But if you look at like something like this, so this model is an R6, but they they spend a lot of time creating the custom arms and legs, and it's still going to move like an R6. But you can see it, it doesn't have to have that blocky appearance if you change certain parts of the avatar. Now if I go back, you'll notice that if I look up let's say avatar R15, there's going to be a different range of characters. And again, with the R15s, there are ones that are like kind of look more like blocks and other ones that look uh, more nuanced like this one. So is a little more like that last one I saw, but again, it's going to move like an R15. And then the next one is a more like a block. And again, it's like the one we just looked at. So I'm curious to know which you prefer to build with. Do you enjoy working with an R6 or an R15? Leave that in the comment section below. I'd love to know the pros and cons for each of those. So you now know the differences between the R6 and the R15 avatars. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.